Now, this gentleman, Mr. Tobin Winfield III, he's more used to signing off on bounties than being the subject of them. But no one cries when a corrupt politician gets their comeuppance. I believe he's hiding out in Thieves Landing. Yeah, the man's a thief, but not the same kind as the rest of them down there. I'd wager he won't survive the week. From the looks of this poster, you're to recover the deeds that he stole, so make sure you find them. Better not be them. It's not them. I'm here. I'm here. You got me. I come willingly, but uh, please hear me out. I'm in danger. Not from you, fine people. Rather, some cutthroats. I was. Quite unwise to trust. I promised them the deeds that I uh, misappropriated if they would help me flee. Uh, now, I have it on good authority that they mean to kill me for those deeds. Protect me, and they're yours. I'll give it all back. Yes? Good. Good. Follow me. They will be here very soon. Very good. The deeds are a short ride away. Sequestered. Follow me and I will take you to them. There will be no shenanigans on this trip. I can promise you that. I give you the deeds. You save my life. It's an excellent bargain for all parties involved. Come on. We have some distance to go yet. I've suffered you wouldn't believe. My nerves are almost wrecked. It will take weeks in a sanatorium just to steady my hands. The slightest bang and I jump out of my britches. Really, the time I've had. I thought these men, these cutthroats, were my friends. Or at least I thought they were reliable lackeys. But control them I could not. They were the picture of concern and care until I was isolated. And then, I shudder to remember, they started spending my money, taking my things, abusing my person. They took real pleasure in my distress. It was only a matter of time before they got bored, exhausted my funds, and decided to consign me to oblivion. I'm so damn grateful you came along when you did. A strange twist of fate indeed, but this bounty may have saved my life.
That was only a small contingent of them. No time to lose. Shall we hurry on and get the deeds? Not too much further. are just under that rock. I'm a man of my word, don't you see? A man of integrity. I'm sure you won't be disappointed. What are you waiting for? Very good. You can take me in now. Time to face the music. But may I ask you please, don't tie me up. Let me keep the little dignity I have remaining. I have been kind and honest to you all. Can I? Very good. I can't tell you what it means to be treated with some decency. Finally. You lead the way. I will follow obediently.
I'll take my chances on my own. Oh, no. unbecoming. I'm a man of stature. A natural leader. Always have been. To think I would fall so low. Ask anyone. Tobin Winfield. Prep school hero. The talk of New Haven. Such promise. Gifted in so many ways. And now a common thief. I could have done anything. That was my problem, you see. Too many avenues were open to me. Things came so easily that I took it all for granted. Can you understand? It's an insidious curse to be charming, intelligent, and born into money. A life of public service is not for everyone. And indeed, it should not have been for me. No, I should have stayed in the law or gone into cotton. Yes, as a politician, I helped people. Oh, did I help people. I was good for business and kind enough to the unfortunates. But I was not kind enough to myself. We all make mistakes. And mine was not thinking enough of myself. That is why I purloined those funds. I'm sure a judge will understand. They won't put me in jail, will they? Not a man of my social standing. I won't last. I have breathed the filthy air of the criminal sphere, and I don't wish to again. Please, I'll never survive. Maybe the judge will be friendly. I've dined with most of them.
Ah, uh, bounties go in the cell. Go over yonder. Done deal. <laughs>